Hello, hello, and welcome. Also mentioned there's going to be a get together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern and Spartal fight. I'd like to go. Andrew from the Cool Dog Channel and Ragnarok has officially ended, but we still have many things to be done here, here and in every realm. Firstly, I would like to investigate those pieces of Asgard and see and see what's inside those pieces. So Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he pulled off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mira, what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be... Hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become Hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. Oh, that was not a good deal, I think. Oh god. Oh 
one, one less and two to go. I hate them because it's those guys. Well, if there's there. Asgard fragments out there, the Ainher Yard will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. And the wreckage of Asgard. Is there anything I would like to do in here? No. Next stop uh, will be the ending of the quest that, re that requires the ingredients from every realm. It's strange. There are still signs of the world serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. That could only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found a trace for New Year. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. <laughs> Fine. Not yet. Let's heal. And... Next stop, here. Since you mention it, there has been one in my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions. Ah, women. Drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? No more for now. Focus. <laughs> Great story, Mimir. Maybe a little bit too long. Finish the story. Gladly. It was said that Yari and Somer first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Oh? How'd they manage to reach Jotunheim? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. And the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somar had found it in each other. Hmm. <laughs> Just like Kratos and Freya.
that's nice. This this is completed. So many new skills. That would be all. And for the quests, the last remnant of Asgard, nice. And in Midgard that would be all. Next step will be to visit the Ratatoskor. Uh, to see what he can give us. The Raven. Prr. Four left. Only four left. Oh, come on. I am gonna have to find those. When Hildesvini went to Helheim, how did he not freeze to death? The perk of the Yofer. The boar shifting warriors of Vanaheim. As wise in statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they like. Sure. So long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar. <laughs> Very tricky answer, Mimir. Very tricky answer. He, they are still here again. Come on, that's unfair. Oh, come on. Go! 
That should be all of them. Or maybe not. No, no. They are, that's all of them. Can't they sense Odin is dead? They are soldiers. They will always be loyal to him, alive or dead. It is a matter of honor. Yes, they will continue to follow his orders and the realms under his thumb. Not for long they won't. But they will understand that far too late. Hmm. Now the gate's still not open. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're going to say goodbye to Brock and Svartal Pine. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in Nethervalir. We will be there. We will. What you need? Oh, uh, what can I do for a god? Impressive. What do you need, handsome? Let me get my forging hammer. All the shields. This and now. What's left? So, the nearest gate shall be there. And when Normangander attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yomi even remembers after all this time. He once was. <laughs> Thanks for collecting that. Let's go to the squirrel.
Tusker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very root, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Well, any questions before you travel on? <laughs> Ooh, new unexplored areas of the Nine Realms. It's so quiet. So damn quiet in here. And everything has been ruined by Odin. But I think I had opened Jotunheim. Svartalheim, Muspelheim, Helheim, Niflheim, Alp Asgard is destroyed, Midgard. How? How to? Oh, it has opened now. We are going here. We are going to the new area in Niflheim. What is this place? Oh, this is the place where. Uh, Look. I did not think anything grew here. And this is the place where Atreus went with Thor to get the mask. I think. Not here. Goodbye. Let's be friends forever. Try to tell her what happened. She knows. What is in Mara? Hello. Where are you, my love? Don't tell me that this cow is in Mara. Berserker. Do I want to try this? 
Of course, always and forever. I hate this Bifrost shit. Understand my mistake now. He must be hit in the air. Get everything I have. Oh! <laughs> 
Fine, I have a stone. That is a question you must answer for yourself. Good question. Hard question to answer. Berserker Gauntlet. I think I'm unable to go anywhere else. Something is on your mind. What is it? Freyr's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries he swore he would only ever set it down in death. Or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Where is this crying lady? Hello, Sinmara. Where are you? No idea, but we have finished our business in the in the Niflheim for now on. And I think the last thing to do is to go for the Brock's funeral. I know, I know, I will go to Jotunheim. Here. Let's go in here, maybe. Because I want to upgrade the... the... the, the what? The Berserker uh, armor. Hey, uh, near the little shop I'm running out in the Alpine Desert, there's something y'all are probably gonna want to see. You mm -hmm. need? I got it. Let me get my forging hammer. Fits. Woo -hoo! Lucky good. Yeah. Now go show it all. Level nine. I think I didn't make this, but I would like to. Don't know why. Oh. Let's go. And pay Brook last respect. There is the uh, remnant of Asgard, only one. Only one. 
The laird had broken his oath by carrying the maiden across the river, and his brother quietly stewed until he could contain himself no more. How could you do it, brother? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? The laird just smiles. Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. Oh, they are there indeed. Yeah, Kratos who's chuckling. That's new. That's rare. That's beautiful. Kratos changed since the times of the God of War, the first and the second. He changed a lot. Where are you? Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God's not gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. We'll be there. We will be there. Kratos named him a friend. I don't know where where did his soul went, those pieces of soul that he possessed. But uh, in there he will be able to brag about Yo, Kratos named me a friend. What is your superpower? Some morning guard. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. No. Now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. 
You made it. We can begin. Sentry. Black Puss. It's bigger the more you take away. So that was the true ending of this game.
astonishing. I don't know what to say. <sighs> For now on. For, for, let's finish this for now. Thank you.